New questions this morning about Hertz's decision to install cameras in many of its cars. The nation's second largest rental car company says the devices cannot be turned on. Many people are asking why is Hertz introducing this technology. Vicente Reynolds went to Hertz's headquarters in Naples, Florida to find out. Turn right on the 19th Street. GPS technology has become an essential tool for millions of drivers. Some devices even allow you to make a direct voice connection this is Omstar. with emergency services. Now Hertz is adding a camera to its navigation system. Rich Broom is with the Hertz Corporation. Another camera icon would come up to show that the camera is functioning and that it's on. Broom says the camera is not currently operational, but admits they're toying with the idea of making it a part of their latest Never Lost system, which has video conference capabilities. What would something like that be used for? So we see some real-life applications from video conferencing as people have gotten used to applications like Skype and FaceTime, uh, but we haven't made the decision yet whether to go forward. But it made a lot of sense to us to install the hardware now in this generation rather than discover maybe a year from now that, hey, video conferencing is something people run, and then we've got to come out with another generation of these units. The cameras are now in one out of every eight of Hertz's half a million vehicles, which experts say could be invading the privacy of unsuspecting drivers. Technology today is moving so fast that the laws just can't keep up. Jay Stanley, senior policy analyst at the ACLU, says federal laws prohibit companies from recording audio, but none address the use of video. Should people be afraid that perhaps it could turn on and look at what they're doing at any time during their drive? No, there's no power from this unit into the camera. So imagine your camera without a battery. It won't work there. But the other important thing is there's no software that will enable that camera to function. Still, the ACLU expects Hertz drivers to be skeptical. If there's this little glass lens four feet away from you staring you in the face, it's going to make you self-conscious. My recommendation is a little piece of duct tape can go a long way. Hertz says customers uncomfortable with the system will be given the option of choosing a different car. For CBS This Morning, Vicente Arenas, Naples, Florida. Yet another use for duct tape. Right? It seems like an odd idea. Right? We're, we're going to install them, but we're not going to use them. In case there's some technology move that direction, we're already there. Let's we'll just wait until we get there. Yeah. Maybe. So far, I haven't heard anybody that thinks it's a good idea, so we will see. All right. We will see.